Let's now focus on Excel 2013 MOS Objective 1.3 A and B. Here is the 1.3 A and B file. I'm going to hold Control click to highlight both of them and press Enter. You can see it's a fast way of opening up two different Excel files. And let me just uh, have this set here. So we're now going to begin by changing each of the visible worksheet tabs to a different color. So this is the A file. You can see there's January, February, March, April, May, June. We're just going to change the tab colors. Let's right click and go to tab color. I'm just going to choose red. I'm going to right click, tab color. Let's change it to green. Right click, tab color, change it to blue, etc. You get the, the point. So as you click on these tabs, it, it, you switch tabs and you can see these tab colors are pretty clear. So when you actually click on a certain tab, it turns a bit lighter and the other tabs are pretty uh, solid. So when I click on this blue tab, it turns very light, whereas these other colors become solid. So our challenge now is to click on the January, February tab and within this tab, our, our job is to print these two months, January, February, on different pages. Now what I notice here is that these, this information here for each of the months are a bit wider uh, than they are tall. So we're going to print the page on a regular sheet of paper sideways. It's called landscape as opposed to portrait. So we're going to use letter size paper. So let's go to page layout up here. Page layout, let's go to orientation. Let's go landscape because that's the way we're going to print. And now I'm just going to verify that I'm on the right page size and I should be already. If I go to size, you can see that we're using letter paper. This is uh, 21.59 centimeters or eight and a half by 11 inches letter size paper. So this looks good and I notice that there's a dotted line here. The dotted line here is a faint gray dotted line indicates that this is the boundary. These are the boundaries where the printer is going to print up to. So I'm slightly out of bounds here. So there's a couple things I can do, but one easy way to do it is to simply change the width instead of automatic. I'm going to change the width to one page. So by doing that, and if I go to control P or file print, you can see that it fits sideways. It's all automatic. If I go to page two, it fits sideways as well. It just so happens that this February is cut off and I don't, don't like that. So let's go back and see what we can do. So I'm going to change it back to the width to automatic. And then I'm going to also try changing the scale. So at 100%, it doesn't quite fit. There's that gray dotted line. But if we change the scale down manually to, say, 90%, you can see that I manually set the scale such that it does fit. So that's another option. We can also change the scale. So let's uh, leave it the way it was before. And I'm going to use the width one page. I'll let Excel do the work for me. So if I scroll down, I can see this dotted line is here. That's the boundary. I don't like how February's cut off. So I'm going to right click on row 35 and go to insert. So we inserted a row. And when I click somewhere else, I can see that now the boundary is correct. Our February a sheet is going to be on a, a new page. Now I don't like how this formatting is is a bit messed up here. There's a, the color blue. I think it should be the color white. So I'm just going to right click row 35 and I'm going to change this uh, fill color to no fill. So there's my nice uh, formatting and I just want to verify that I'm successfully printing to two pages by going to file print or control P control P and I can quickly see that page one of this letter sized landscape page is normal. If I go to page two, it also looks normal. So we're doing a good job. 
So let's go back and let's try the next challenge to configure the March April worksheet. That's this one here. So this is a new worksheet. You can see it kind of looks the same as before. But to make it print on two pages of A5 size paper. So same thing, but we have a different size paper. So let's do the same thing. Orientation is landscape. You can see that I have to change these settings for depending on what uh, worksheet that we're on. These settings are all different for each worksheet. I can have different size paper for each worksheet. Uh, instead of letter, we're going to choose A5. And if you pay attention to the measurements, A5 is smaller than letter. So this is my A5 worksheet. And uh, to verify orientation is still landscape, great. And let's just take a look here. You can see that this is not quite fitting. So I'm going to let the uh, Excel do the difficult work for me. I'm going to change the width to one page. So it's going to fit on one page. And let's take a look. Let's scroll down a little bit and take a look what's happening here. You can see here that it's, it's, it's uh, cutting through here. Let's try making the height two pages and see how that works out. So let's go to Control-P. There's my page one and there's my page two. It looks good enough to me. So finally, let's go to the back, to the May-June tab. So for this worksheet, we want to configure the settings to print at 50% of its actual size, 50%. So again, orientation is going to be landscape and uh, the, uh, the size, we'll just leave it as letter, but let's try printing at 50%. So instead of a 100% scale, it's going to hit the down arrow or I can even highlight this number 80 and type in 50 enter and I'm going to try to print it at 50% so when I go to print you can see that the May June fits onto one page and it's quite small there's a lot of leftover space but that's okay so great job we're getting better at formatting worksheets and workbooks We'll continue with the Excel 1.3b example in the next video.